True. I don't know what it is, I'm just looking. Yep. Satellites don't exist. Okay. Yeah. What what proof would you consider to have that satellites do in fact exist? Um are you videotaping me? Yeah. Oh. I'm on YouTube Live. Oh, could you not videotape me? I can I can do that, but do you do do you know that in Minnesota I can videotape anybody on public property? That's fine, but if I may ask Sure, I can request, okay. yeah. Yeah. But what um I'm gonna go back to my group. I just was really understand because I didn't know. Yeah, so space is fake, okay? It's not real. Hey. You can't read? Satellites don't exist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes, it is massive. <laughs> 
<laughs> right? Ninety-two light bulbs. And, that's why it's, not and so, uh, <laughs> it's like it's a script for these people. One of which was just a coincidence. On May 11th is Minnesota's birthday, and so just three weeks ago, on May 11th, it was our 159th year as a state in the United States. And so that's when it is usually lit up. But right below it, we have this star. Now, our state is also known as the North. Our state motto also is in French. It says Le Trois de Nord, but that also means the star of the north. And so that's why we have the star in the very center. Now, do any of you notice anything different about the star? Anything weird? Yes, it's a juice. It's exactly. It has eight points. And that is done specifically. Because check this out. Look at this point. I like that. It is <coughs> Such we'll liars. also see lots of stars. Such and liars. Are also known as the gopher state. And so we will also see lots of gophers. And so all Such of that capital to make it a bunch of lies. and uniquely Minnesotan, we have a lot of things that you will only find or see in our state. Does anybody know our state flag? What color is it? Yes, excellent. And so as we go around the we will also see it lots of <laughs> Possible flat earther. Identified. They're all going to be flat earthers here pretty soon. They just don't know it yet. Those are pentagrams. Uh, they're not quite like upside down. I think they just have like a, like, uh, they're just patterned that way. They're not always, you know, what we consider upright, but it's not like incorrect. Yes. They're pentagrams. They're satanic symbols. Over here. All right, well, that was the, uh, yeah, it's an eight-pointed star, so I hope the connection's better for you guys today. I was able to connect to the Wi-Fi, so it doesn't look like there's at all any interference right now. Looks like it's smooth sailing. Today we just have uh, That's what we got. I guess I could probably get a marker and try to outline it a little better so people can see it, but I'll do that once uh, these people leave here.
What's that? A toesy here, yeah, right? Not a selfie, but a toesy. Oh, right. Of course. I do have a question for you. Just kind of getting a, a like little survey, mm -hmm. social experiment. What do you guys mm -hmm. think about the moon landing? You think the moon landing happened? Did you see it on TV? Uh, no, I didn't. I, I refused to watch. <laughs> okay. Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. I, I was, uh, uh, was uh, anti-government at that point. Oh, and, and you're not anti-government now? Not so much, no. No? You just well, kind of conformed, right? Anti this government. <laughs> ah, well. well. No, what was the question? Uh, just an uh, observation about the moon landing. Did I see it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, what did you think about it? Well, it was awesome. It was? Of course, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you know that NASA would not allow it to be filmed live? That they actually had to use a camera on a TV, use a camera on a monitor, and then use another camera on a monitor? No. And it was all delayed? Yeah. Like so, yeah, so what they did is they created a, a resolution effect where it would be very grainy. Oh, yeah. And so, so, it, so it would look real. But, but I guess my point is, is do you still believe that the moon is a physical object to be landed on? Oh, my, oh my gosh, that's heavy duty. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I guess I do. Yeah. Okay. I want to. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, are you Christian folks? Okay, you never read the Bible or anything like that? No, you've read the Bible. I have not, but he's read the Bible. Okay, Definitely. sure. I, I, don't, I don't usually bring it up, um, but in the first chapter of Genesis, God does display uh, in his words that the light from the sun and the light from the moon are independent from each other. So when we're taught that the moon reflects the sun's light, that is false accusation, and that's a lie. So the moon, the moon actually creates its own light, and it's not a physical object that can be landed on. Oh, it sounds a little profiti. Yeah, well, it does. <laughs> um, I'll let you get back to your things here. No, I just got, okay. I got. That's interesting. Very yeah, interesting. I got one more thing for you. What's that? Um, what do you think about? There's a, a a huge movement, and this November there's going to be a conference in North Carolina. It's called Flat Earth Conference. Second week of November, this year, there's going to be thousands of people who believe that the Earth is flat. Uh, what, um... I don't think you should deny science. No? no. What do you I think? Agree. I agree. What no. do you think? No, I, I mean, we've thought about this for a long time. You have? Yeah, okay. I mean, the world has thought about it. Not yeah, sure. And I think I believe it. You believe that the Earth is a ball? I do. Okay. Yeah. And on your own personal observations or things that you get from like NASA and the establishment and Hollywood movies? Well, not from Hollywood movies or NASA, but from okay. science. Okay. Yeah. What if I was to tell you that water does not curve? So when you, you've you been to the ocean, right? Yeah, I've lived on the ocean. Okay. Did you ever see from your peripheral on the left or the right the ocean curving? No, not so much like in front of you, but on the left or the right, because if it's a ball, then clearly the well, oceans have to far. curve. I can't see that far. Right. I can't see the horizon over there. I can see it there. You can see it in front of you? Because I'm seeing, you know, the, the stars, the moon, the sun. Sure. I can't see it. You know, I... Okay. Can I just really encourage you to reopen your mind about such a topic? Sure. Because I am why I'm here is I've done extensive research, talked to people, listened to other people who are more of an alternative mindset that we have been indeed lied to through our educational system to teach us and to indoctrinate us into the belief that we live in a ball and outer space is real and it's not real. Okay. And what organization do you belong to? Um, I'm just a personal just, advocate. This is just on your own? Yeah. You do this? Yeah. I don't get paid for it or anything. But there are some fascinating YouTube channels out there, like ODD TV Reality and Mark K. Sargent okay. has some really fascinating flat Earth videos. Think about I'll it. Look for your thing in November. Yeah, my name is uh, Authentic Intent, my YouTube channel. So if okay. if you're curious, check it out. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Have a good afternoon.
All right. Well, I did experience a connection issue. I tried to delay the question until uh, I was able to reconnect, but I wanted to make sure I af ask them. Yeah, I know, I gotta get some cards, you know. So yesterday when I was here and all those kids saw me, they did respond <laughs> on my YouTube channel. And I had to delete like 20 plus comments because they just weren't very productive and encouraging or constructive. So, they're kids, you know, they came on my YouTube channel yesterday and they just flamed me and they didn't really understand what they were flaming me about, but they will understand later. So I can't get mad at them. They're kids. Plus their parents came on and how dare you videotape children and it's like, I had to put up a sign or a post in my description letting people know that what I'm doing is legal. Whether these are minors or not, it doesn't matter. In Minnesota, we can openly videotape anybody in a public vicinity. And the only person that needs to consent to being videotaped is me. So, sorry guys. Sorry to break it to your parents, but you need to get educated in your law and where you live and kind of cool off a little bit, back down. You're not familiar with how the law is in this state, and I understand that you're ignorant to that. But don't come on my YouTube channel and flame me for your ignorance until you research the information on your own. So, just kind of getting a feel for the area. Um, Okay, hold on. Hey guys, Joshua here, Authentic Intent. We are back in the Minnesota State Capitol building. So we're hanging out here. Okay, so I'm back here. What did you want to see? So I started here and then I went over. What did I do? I went over here. You said you wanted to see something? I don't know where, where you wanted to, to see, but, oh, okay. This guy? There are a lot of... There are a lot of people. Yeah, so there's eight in the middle and then there's... You back up even more. You have another outer star, so it's like a sun. I don't know if that's what they were going for, like a sun thing, and then you look up. That's the dome above us, right? Truth hidden in plain sight a little bit. So that's the dome above us. And then they have a bunch of, uh, you know, not occult symbolism at all. Up top, you know, it has nothing to do with other terminology here. This is all... Uh, there's eight points. But then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so there's another eight points. So there's two eight-pointed stars. I'll give you guys a tour. I got Since I got Wi-Fi, I might as well just walk around a little bit instead of just staying here. I'll give you guys a tour, and then when I see kids... <coughs> yeah, so if you add the two up, you got a 16-pointed star. 
I'll show you guys around. This is the Minnesota State Capitol since there's no kids around right now. I can't really interact with anybody yet. So this is the courtroom. This is the Supreme Court of Minnesota. His name is John Lafarge, and he painted these when he was about 70 years old. So they were right at the end of his career. Um, Cass Gilbert, the architect, chose him to paint these. And John Lafarge lived in New York City. He painted them there and then shipped them here to Minnesota. He held an art show before he did that. And newspaper critics. It's pretty much marble all over this place. This building was built in 1905. They're currently remodeling the outside and resodding the lawn outside. So we'll be here for, uh, you know, until about 4.30 or so. There'll be more later for field trips and stuff. This is where the house meets representatives. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Somebody was saying earlier that it's much bigger than that. So that's the Minnesota State Senate. And then we'll travel back down, see if I can run into some people and talk to them. I see some old people down there. Maybe I can ask them about the moon landing. <coughs> All right. What do we got? Now they're leaving. Well, wait till I get a better signal here. I don't think there's any kids outside. <laughs> right? Pretty much. If you don't believe Flat Earth, the end is near for you. If you prefer to continue to live in a lie that is propagated by where we live and who we are, that's fine. So yesterday I came, I, re, I was reminded about an article that I saw. If you Google water underwater, Google there is water underwater, there is an interesting, first off, Ripley's Believe It or Not, that is yeah, I know, right? A star inside a circle. The Ripley's Believe It or Not episode talks about a river that is underwater, but it's more solid than the water around it, but it still flows like water. So if you're not familiar with that, check that out. Water underwater. And what that kind of leads me to 
an idea is that could be how outer space is. So there gets to be a point where the above firmament becomes so hard that we're unable to penetrate it. But at what point does that hard layer become malleable? So is it like a jello type medium? You know, like a jello, you know, not jello pudding, but just regular jello? Are you able to penetrate the outer firmament and then enter into some kind of a medium? If you remember when you watch The Matrix, Neo is in some kind of an organic type thick liquid. You know, reminded me of Ghostbusters when Slimer would throw up on people. And it goes back to what ODD talks about with the black goo and how that could be program programmable matter. And so the medium that we are in right now as human beings, as we breathe, you know, we're breathing in some oxygen, hydrogen stuff. So we do experience some kind of uh, liquid fog type form when warm air and cold air meet, there's a fog. So we do know that there is water in the air. In the medium that we are experiencing as human beings is just a thinner form of what could be possibly programmable matter. I say programmable matter in the quote ether that we live in now because it seems that they are using such frequencies and vibrational properties through the quote cell phone towers that we have and I think that that's what they may be using to manipulate people's thought life and you know how they kind of go about their business with the food that they eat and I think there's a combination between cell phone towers and the GMOs and the chemtrailing that's happening because they're basically chemtrailing us with metals. Everybody who is for sure certain that they should be drinking mineral water is, in my opinion, deceived. I don't think that mineral water is good for the human body. I think that over a period of time it can be shown to pre create some kind of gallstones or some kind of mineral collective in your urinary tract and or liver. You can get all those minerals and vitamins and everything from just regular fruit and vegetables and some nuts and maybe some fish. But I, I'm just really fascinated about what, in my opinion, what space is and why it is such a solid how do I say, solid shield to keep a vacuum of space separate from us, from being sucked out. So there has to be some kind of a medium between what they tell us is outer space and just our everyday life here on Earth, on the ground. And I don't know what kind of medium there is underwater. Yeah, I used to really like Saturn. It used to be my favorite planet. <laughs> and then I had to get re-educated about what that terminology means and the planet Saturn and why it is so special to the establishment. But it's not really my favorite planet anymore because planets are not real. Okay, if you still believe that planets are real and they are orbiting around the sun. All right, thanks for stopping by, Nimble. Um, if that's something that you still believe, that we uh, planets still exist, then please look into space being fake, planets not being real, they're not physical objects that can be landed on. Oh yeah, circle around the star. This is not an occult. 
symbolism or practice at all. Okay, so we got some action here. Whoops, that was your phone. That's right, that's right. Yeah, I'm a Taurus. So whatever that means. Hi. You see that beautiful chandelier up there? Wow, that's so amazing. Can't see it though. It We're down here. That is like, right above us. In the whole wide world. That's right. They are gold leaf. 23.5 carat gold leaf. Those beautiful horses. Okay. Yep. Oh, he does. Okay. What? Now, from here all the way. Because this is public property, and I am allowed to videotape anybody on public property. And these kids just so happen to be here. Oh, what's, yeah. where are you going to put that on? On YouTube, yep. For what reason? Uh, I'm doing a social experiment, letting everybody know that space is fake and satellites aren't real. Oh, okay. And, yeah, we mentioned the dome. We actually may or may not live under a dome, and outer space is not real. Okay. I yeah. Just to sure. Okay. Hi, YouTube. Hey, bud. Authentic intent. Authentic intent. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a lot of teachers and parents who don't like kids being videotaped. Right. So just as a heads up. Yep. But I am within my legal rights to videotape people. So whether they approve or disapprove of what I'm doing, doesn't really matter, sir. You should know the law in Minnesota, right? Well, you don't in Minnesota, sir. Sir, can I ask you a question? Yep. It doesn't matter, ma'am. You need to get familiar with the statutes in Minnesota. Yep. But it doesn't matter, ma'am. They're on public property. How am I disrespectful? I'm just standing here. Okay, but... But that's awesome, ma'am, and that's your opinion? I don't want the children. To understand, to, to know that space is fake? That's not my problem, ma'am. You, you're... I'm nuts? Because I go against the establishment's indoctrination of our children? Seriously. <laughs> like... Yeah, that, hey, that's what happens. You know? It's okay to be videotaped when you're taking a shower and you bring your phone into the shower with you. 
and you don't put tape over your selfie camera and you bring your camera into the shower with you. Who do you think is watching that video? Okay, if you can't wean yourself away from the technology that you have in your house and then you bring that technology into areas where it's a private matter and you're having conversations, You know, who do you think is watching you? Honestly, who do you think is watching you when you're at home and you don't have tape over your cameras on your phone and your tablet and your computer and your laptop and you don't cover your microphones on your phone, laptop, or computer? You're being watched and listened to regularly. And to say that I'm out of my jurisdiction to do so to do the same thing, <laughs> you don't know the law and you're afraid of it. And you're afraid of people who express their rights and you're unfamiliar with it. And if you're ignorant to the law, that's your problem, that's not mine. If you're driving 72 miles an hour in a state that you don't typically go through, and you're going on a road trip and you're traveling through that state and you're driving 10 to 15 miles over the speed limit and a cop pulls you over, you can't say, I didn't know what the speed limit was, sir. That's not gonna be a good defense. I don't appreciate you videotaping minors. Hey, that's cool, that's your opinion. And I'll respect that. But until I'm on private property and your kids are on private property, I can take into your requests under my consideration, but legally I don't have to stop videotaping you. And you, people need to become aware of your laws. It's not my problem, you know? I gotta do what I gotta do, you know? I can't allow people like that to try to bring me to a point where I stop waking people up. It's just embarrassing for them. You know, I'm a parent and I don't like you. Who cares? What do you, what do you think I'm doing? Honestly, get a grip with yourself, lady. Seriously, what do you think I'm doing with the information that I'm using and putting on YouTube? What, what do you think I'm doing? Tell me. Because if you can't tell me verbally what you're thinking I'm doing with the video that I'm put, putting on YouTube, then you have nothing to say. You have no case. You have no case in the matter, ma'am. <coughs> it's unbelievable. But we're gonna hang out here for another hour and a half or so at my Minnesota State Capitol letting people know that space is fake. And I'm tired of being lied to. And these people don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing. And they're not gonna know why I'm doing what I'm doing until everything is revealed or until they pass away to the next life. I put it on the descriptions of this video so people can click onto the website. Minnesota Statute 626.02. You know, and it's just like uh, globe heads who come into flat earth hangouts and they say, why does water curve? How do you do this? How does a seasons work on a flat earth? <laughs> you could do that information on your own. You know, so before you come and flame me, about what I can and can't do legally, why don't you investigate the law first and find out whether what I'm doing is legal or not and then come and flame me in my chat. And until you do, you're ignorant and that's fine. That's just, you don't know any better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good luck. Good, you know what, hey, that'd be cool though. 
days because if they did that then they would see, they would be like, okay, well why was this young man in your, our state capitol videotaping quote minors? That's why I'm here, right? Because I'm, I'm videotaping minors. That's my purpose for being here. Give me a break. You're so diluted with fluoride and chemtrails and your GMOs that you have, you can't even think logically and critically. And then when they, if she does complain to City Hall and says something, then they'll know that I was here because I was telling people space is fake. So if they want to bring me to some kind of a legislation, I'd love to go. And I'd bring my sign, and I'd say, yeah, I was holding this sign letting people know that fate, space is fake, and you can't travel to outer space. We've never been to the moon, and all the Hollywood movies about space are fake. Oh, it's the same lady from yesterday. <laughs> See, she knows the law. What a lie. How many lights are there, guys? 92, right? Satellites don't exist. Yeah. Yep. Space is not real and we've never been to the moon. So if you believe we've been to the moon, then you don't believe the Bible when it says Genesis 1 that God created the greater light for the day and the lesser light for the night. The moon is not a physical object that can be landed on. And if you saw the moon landing live, you were deceived by your government and by the governments of the world. Hey, that's fine. And you'll be, everything will be revealed to you someday in your time, ma'am. And until that happens, you'll remain in ignorance and deception. Wish I had some water. I do have some fruit snacks. I do have a snack or two to tide me over until this portion of the episode is done. And then I'm going to go back to Lake, Lake Calhoun. Okay, that's great. Okay. But the law does, okay, ma'am? Yeah, no. What do you think I'm going to do with the information? Unless, unless what do you think I'm going to do with the video? You are not allowed. Ma'am, you can't allowed. touch my property. Yeah, and you but are you not can't allowed touch my to property. film minors. But you can't touch my property, and I'm on public property, yeah. so I can film whoever no, is on public you property. you cannot film minors you, you without to, consent. You need to get familiar with the law, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. You're not. Go. You're not familiar with the law. Go. Go. You're not familiar with the law, ma'am. Are you going to be, are you going to touch my property again? No, I'm okay, not. Good. I'm going to sit here and okay. hold my hand Space here. Space is fake. So you cannot Space is fake. film minors. Space is fake. And you the moon cannot landing cannot film happen. minors without consent. Space is fake. Man. I don't give a fuck about space. Oh, we're swearing in front of children now. I want you to so, know that a trooper's coming. Awesome. To cool. Yeah. You cannot take our kids without consent. They're on public property, man. No. Yeah, they yes, are. Yes, and you, you no, cannot they're use they're on that. They're public property. Oh, you were a sex offender or something. You like wish that. I was, ma'am, oh so that you God. could have proof <laughs> to show that I am, so that you would be in the you right. You are the biggest nutcase. Why am I a nutcase? Because I don't agree with what you're talking about? Because you're filming minors because you're pissed off that we don't agree with your No, you're, there's no space. You're, you're, you're upset that I'm filming I'm upset you're filming this, minors. No, it doesn't matter, ma'am. Good God, you are a Let's moron. I'm a moron. So calling your names? They are all of 
So calling the name. Yeah, we'll take care of it, man. We don't want you to get. Yeah. Because you're you're touching my property. Yep. Yep. I've, I've got a, you, got you you've addressed that already. You've addressed that already. <laughs> you're unbelievable. <clears throat> I know, right? <laughs> Oh man, I wish I could. What's up? Yeah, you don't know the law either, sir. You don't know the law. Okay. They're coming they're coming to arrest me, he says. Give me a break. You guys are so unbelievable. Okay, so we got the establishment coming, folks. We got some action. They're sending a state trooper to dialogue with me, so get your popcorn. I don't know when that's going to happen, but... I will videotape it, and the police officer will be on camera. Because regardless of whether he wants to be or not, he's a public servant, and he has to be put on camera. What is wrong with people? Seriously. Like, because they don't agree with what I'm talking about here if I was talking about how science is great if I was talking about how science is great I'm going to really irritate them now I'm just doing it to irritate them now exactly What is wrong with you people? Like seriously, what is wrong with you people? When you express your rights to do whatever you want in this country, you get harassed. How interesting. Hi, how are you? Yeah, sure, of course. Yeah, of course. Trooper Carlson. What's your name? I would prefer not to give out that information at this time. Am I being uh, committed a, did I commit a crime, ma'am? No. I okay. To talk to you. Sure. What are you doing here? It looks oh, like I'm just hanging out, letting people know that satellites don't exist, and what we've been taught in school about space and you the outer planets. I don't agree with it. I think it's a lie. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I ran up here. It's hey, cool. Yeah, I know, right? It's a really nice day. Um, the reason I'm here. Yeah. We had some complaints. From sure. Teachers you know, dealing with their class. And yeah. They just don't feel comfortable being filmed. I know. You and I know they can be. Yep. It's public. Sure. Can you work with me on that? I can, I can respect people's request. Okay. But have, they, have they asked you to and you haven't? No, they have told me that I can't do it. So they assume that they know the law. And so since they don't know the law, yeah, they ahead. haven't really necessarily come at me in a... Yeah, sure. They probably just don't know the laws as yeah. you, which is fine. Yeah. I just don't want this to turn into an argument here with kids. and You know what I mean? I know. We want them to come here and get a good experience about what this is all about. Yeah. So they understand you can do things like this. Yeah. Can I ask you to respect the space? Um, I, I can take that into consideration, but it's my right to be in the area as much as it is theirs. It is. Yeah. But they're just asking you to. I know. That particular group. But see, that's the thing, is one group is it's okay, and another group it's not. So people need to be familiar with the law, they because do, the group I, that just was here didn't have a problem with me filming them. Um, and so there was another group that, that does. With these children to kind of teach them that. Okay, I'm just standing here, and if a kid says something to me, I'm going to respond, the re the and I can, I can openly speak, right? So I can turn around and say can. something. I just don't know that engaging a child in a debate is going to get you. I'm not, in, I'm not engaging a child in a debate, but I am letting them know that space is not real. Okay. And so that's what? a viewpoint of mine that I'm open to express my opinion. Absolutely. What's, awesome. What's kind of your goal? Uh, my goal is to let the people know that who come into this okay. establishment understand that 
space is fake, NASA's lying to us, and satellites aren't real. Because all that we get from NASA are CGI images of satellites in space. So if you were to present all of your information about what outer space is and all we get are CGI computer images and you were to present that to a court, do you think that the court could prove still that satellites exist even though all of the evidence of outer space, the planets, Earth from you know, space are all CGI? To be honest, I don't know a lot about it. Yeah. I can see you're passionate about yep. it. And you're free to do what you want within reason. Sure. Okay. Yeah, and I'm just hanging out and if they, uh, if their, if their option is to engage with me, that's their choice and that's their, that's their True. decision. I just want, if an adult asks you to not talk to a child. Sure. They're in charge of that child while they're here at the Capitol. Yeah. I can respect that, that if if a, if somebody says that to me, and the people that responded in such a manner are the only ones that have said anything. Okay. So, well, however you want to discern that is up to you. We just so, can't have conflict here. So sure. At some yeah. Point I'm just. It will a I'm just hanging out. So well, you're not because we're getting calls. So there's a difference. You're getting calls because I have a video camera and I'm videotaping quote minors on a public property. Yeah, but yeah. So if I was just holding, if I was just holding this sign without the camera, you'd be good. I would be yeah. good, right? But people aren't comfortable with that. Yep. I'm used to that. Sure. That's part of my job. Mm -hmm. But that's going. People aren't going to be comfortable with that when they're people aren't comfortable that. with a lot of ideas that what's are the, against. Is that your point to make people uncomfortable, or what's this about? Well, this is about giving people an opportunity no, for an alternative this. viewpoint. The, the camera. The camera yes, is the YouTube camera. live. Yep. So what I'm doing is I'm educating. I am educating people who have an idea that is similar to mine, okay. and they are vicariously watching what I'm doing as if it's them doing such a thing. Does that make sense? Um, so if you're if you're at home, well, if you're at home and you're watching a TV show that you really like, yeah. don't you at times vicariously live through a character that you see on TV or in a movie that you identify the most with? Well, what I, my point is, is that I'm YouTube live yeah. because there are other like-minded people like myself okay. who can agree we, with what I'm doing. A, some sort of compromise. Uh, yeah, my compromise is is to walk around the and just circle. Kind of give groups their leeway. Yeah, they can don't do whatever they want. Don't engage them if they ask you not to. Yeah, unless they engage with me, then I will. But I will okay. continue to openly broadcast live okay. on YouTube. Well, so. I mean, that's your choice. I sure. would ask that you don't. But yeah, um, let me. I don't know. I you were here yesterday. So yeah, I was. Yep. I understand. Okay. Yeah. Let me find out how. The, I don't know what that entailed because I wasn't here. But sure. Well, you can actually look it up on YouTube if you want and find out what happened. No, I. Okay, because I have video documented evidence to prove that I didn't do anything wrong. Thanks. What happened, bud? I didn't get arrested. Oh, weird. I didn't get arrested, though, sir. You don't know the law. Huh? You don't know anything. Nope. Hey, that's awesome. Good for you. We're all happy for you. Really impressed. <laughs> he, he actually said I was going to get arrested. No joke. That's what he said. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. How about yourself? Yeah, I can't complain, man. Did you know that space is not real and then NASA's lying to us? There's no vacuum. There's no... At what point does a medium separate the vacuum of space to where we're at right now and we're not being sucked out into outer space? That's where you have the ozone and have uh, various... Uh... Cool, right? Uh, that is correct. Yes. Okay. Can I encourage you to check out like a flat earth video of ODD uh, TV or Mark Sargent? Sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I've heard what, what you're doing and I'm, I'm really, I'm interested to listen to your opinion, your view. On yeah. It. Because, I appreciate that. Course, like, There's like, not, man. There's not. Like, like I want, I want you to try this next There's not a curvature, time. man. I know that you yeah. want to believe that and you've been taught and I grew up yeah. in public school too. I graduated here in Buffalo in 99 in Minnesota. Gotcha. Okay. So I, I, I know how, I know where you're at, man. I really do. I know you want to hang on to it, but it's not real. And you're, you're raised in an idea that we do live in a ball. Yeah. 
And so your eyes want to see something that's not really there because we're basically trained to think that. True. Yeah, I just want you to so, try one thing with the camera though. Yeah. Is that if you set the if you set border lines, if you have a DSLR and like for instance a smartphone camera, you can set a grid. If you, if you line it up with the horizon, you'll see the edges of the yep. screen. There's a there's a slight. Uh, and you done this. Yeah, I'm a photographer. Okay, a photographer sure. And journalist, so I kind of yep. like there's you can see, and of course there might be a slight diffusion with the <coughs> as well. Mm -hmm. So of course, yeah, I always like uh, checking out the point of views and that kind of stuff. And also, what can you explain, for instance, the stars? What can you tell me about that? There's just lights in the sky, man. Lights in the sky. Yeah. Yep. All right. What about? Uh, have you seen like satellites going over as well? Have you? Uh, yes, I have. Okay. Uh, the International Space Station. If you have. A, no, I mean, have you seen like satellites? That look like this fly through the oh, sky. No, you can see slight. Uh, you can see just dots in the sky. Pretty much dots floating along. Okay, so that could yeah. may or may not be a weather balloon, a balloon that's used for communication purposes, or a drone, right? Uh, that I mean, I've, uh, I, I mean, uh, like I um, go through aviation. I know a lot about aviation. Sure. If, if, you, if there are drones and that kind of stuff, they're required to have navigation lights. Uh -huh. I don't see any type of navigation lights. So that's okay. So you assume that everything that you're told by the establishment is true. And it's verbatim, right? No, I know for sure that drones are required to have navigation. Okay. It's part of the FAA regulation. Sure. So, so there wouldn't ever be a time where our government has ever said something and done the other. Uh, oh, definitely. Yeah. There's, there's always instances where the government says we did this, but they did like okay. you know, many, many instances. Yeah. Okay. So you brought me to the beach, and you've seen things go over the quote curvature. Pretty much curvature. Like, what would you explain, for instance, boats? Like when you see over the horizon. Yeah. So yeah. you are a photographer, right? Yes. And you've never seen a boat go over the horizon and then focused your camera on that and zoomed back into it to bring it into focus. You've just assumed it goes over the horizon and, and then from there on, any kind of lens or high power telescope would not be able to bring that object back into focus. Is that true? Well, what would you, like, where would the boat go like, if you can't? Like, if well, I'm asking you a question. So you haven't yeah. used a camera to bring back the object back into focus that you just saw go over the quote horizon. I mean, have would, you done that? It would depend on the lens of course. You're not answering my question man. You, have you done that? Like, have you focused back onto an object that went over the horizon? With the high power focus? Yes. Not done okay that. then you cannot unfortunately you gotta understand where I'm coming from. You haven't done that experiment so to see something go over the horizon where the normal human eye can only see about three miles in your perception, yeah, it would go over the horizon. But we're... Thank sure. You so hey, much. Thank you I'll be so around, much. man. Um, Authentic Intent is my YouTube channel. Yeah. Authentic, Authentic in Intent. intent. Yep. Sure. Are you live right now? I'm live right now. Hello, people. Hey, All right, cool. thanks, man. Take yeah, have a great afternoon. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, he was cool. He was cool. He's a young mind, so he's got to he's got to explore some more. He is still in the educational system. So it's going to take him a little while to kind of peel away from the reality in which we live, but it's like Velcro, you know? So tie-dye guy over there has to be like some kind of undercover something or just a know-it-all. I'm going to flame him in a second here. Do you believe we went to the moon? Yeah. Why is that, sir? They have harnesses on their waist, man. Harnesses on their waist to make it appear like they're in zero g gravity, man. So we're always moving up. The Earth's coming to us instead of we're standing on the Earth. We're always with the, you're saying the Earth moves. Who said that? I didn't say that. No, I said, I said, I said, what do you believe? What do you believe? No, I, I don't believe that at all, sir. What do you believe? I believe that the Earth is flat and that we don't live on a ball and the moon is not a physical object that can be landed on. You need to wake up, please, sir. Or it's going to be too late for you, man. Yes, sir. Yeah.
tie-dye shirts. What's with the tie-dye today? It's a lot of action here, guys. Whoa, he's so authoritative. Watch out. He loves his job. Now listen to the parrot regurgitate what he was taught. 92, 92 lights, guys. Remember, 92 lights up top. This guy. Did you see that kid kept on doing the uh, pyramid symbol while he was talking with his hands? <laughs> I, I tried to focus on that, so... As uh, he was talking, I made sure that, I think he did it like, probably five or six times. <laughs> He's an Illuminati shill. He's coming to uh, raid me. <laughs> and again, I mean, that's just how people talk, you know, it's not a big deal. I don't, I don't throw people under the bus and say, oh my, he's doing pyramids with his hands. He's a Illuminati. <laughs> I let it go though but I did make sure that I had his hands and his face in the shot so people could see that I just thought that was funny <sighs> so he believes it the moon landing happened because he saw it on TV some more kids <laughs> Eat some more Doritos, kids. Come on. Wake up. You know, and you know, again, when I worked at a grocery store, these these kids, sixth, seventh graders, were allowed to shop for themselves. They would come back with Doritos, Capri Sun. If you think Capri Sun is a juice, if you think Capri Sun is a juice, then you think Britney Spears is a All right, so we had another connection issue. So we are here. Still got our signage. Then we'll just, uh, we're hanging out today with just jeans and a nice dress shirt. We're not going too overboard today. We don't gotta, we don't wanna scare people. But I think it's good to switch it up every once in a while. Shirt and tie, some nice pants, and then uh, kick back a little bit with some jeans and a shirt. We're going to hang out at the Lake Calhoun later today. We did that last night. I think I'm going to hang out there for quite a while. I should probably hook, hook up my battery to my phone. So I don't have to use it as much later today. So I'll connect the phone. So I'm gonna hang out here for about another hour. See if I can irritate some more sheep. Wake them up. What's wrong with you? Wake up. All right, hang on a second. All These kids look so excited to be here. Yeah, so that was good. Just know your laws, people. That's all you got to do. Know your laws of your state and what you are able to do within that state. Uh, most likely, you're able to videotape inside your state capitol. Um, most likely, you're able to videotape and take pictures outside of the state capitol because it's still on public property, but you want to make sure that you check your individual state law because Minnesota is one of 39 states that allow public videotaping by civilians. Understand also that you can videotape public servants, so your congressmen, your politicians, your police officers, firemen, uh, ambulance drivers, uh, I think even like taxi drivers and bus people too because they are public servants. But I know for sure, I know, right? Yeah, everybody's hanging up, a, hanging up above me. But so just check your local laws, okay? So that you don't get any to any, any trouble. So clearly these people thought I was out of my quote jurisdiction to 
film people, particularly kids in public property. And I was not worried at all when they called the state trooper. You know, go ahead and call them. If that's what, if that's what makes you feel comfortable to do so that you have a sense of, okay, I thought I did the right thing, I called the police and they didn't do anything, that's because you don't know the law. You don't understand what state you live in. You don't know what people as civilians are able to do. And I'm not gonna not do what I'm allowed to do. And it's funny that when you do express your rights as an American, people aren't always gonna agree with that. So I can respect a person's request and take it into consideration, but I'm not gonna go out of my way. Not gonna, not gonna go out of my way here. So, hi. So we will hang out and just let people come to me. Thanks for stopping by to everybody. Thanks for the mods. If there's any troublemakers in the chat, taking care of those people, appreciate it. Really am encouraged to have everybody come in, whether you're live right now or you're gonna watch later. If you don't un understand my heart and why I'm doing what I'm doing, and you think that I am uh, doing this in a, in a way that uh, isn't, how, what am I trying to say, like, if you don't understand what I'm trying to do, then you need to get familiar with my channel. You need to get familiar with uh, Flat Earth and why we're being lied to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of people, it's not a realm for them, like being in public like this, like standing around and allowing people to openly judge you. It doesn't uh, suit well for most people. For me, I don't care. I'm personally tired of getting lied to. And so I'm going to let other people know that I'm tired of being lied to. I'm just frustrated with this reality. And I think a lot of people are frustrated with this reality in which we live of deception. And they just go about expressing that in different ways. You're not going to hear a lot of people express the views that I do and the frustration. But... I just encourage you to uh, just start to become more comfortable if you are a flat earther, talking to coworkers, friends and family, just kind of letting it out. I mean, you can't be a closet flat earther forever, right? So you just got to find your time to kind of uh, get out. And that might be a while for most people. And for most people, it, it just won't happen. They'll just be, they'll just, they'll believe uh, in the flat earth, they'll understand it, but they won't uh, try to, how do you, you know, for lack of a better word, convert other people. So, if you're not ready to convert other people, then, or talk about flat earth openly because you don't want to be uh, embarrassed or you don't have all the answers, No, I haven't either. I have not had any luck either talking to friends and family about Flat Earth. Uh, my mom, she's understanding. She encourages me to do what I love to do and... Hi! See, these kids don't give a rip if they're on camera. They want to be on camera. But that lady, however, she's probably just wrangling them in. But those ladies from earlier, Kids don't care. Kids don't care. Yeah, you're, you know, um, back in the day, what was this, 2002-ish? Two thousand two, I did door-to-door sales for about a year. 
I don't know why I did it for a year, uh, to be honest with you. I think I just really enjoyed hanging out with the people I was hanging out with and working with at the time. But when we went to door to door, uh, there was kind of a, a law of averages is what they called it. And basically it was, if you talk to 10 people, you're gonna get at least one person to be interested in what you're saying and probably commit to what you're talking about. So if you talk to 100 people, at least 10 of those people are gonna be intrigued enough by the information given that either A, they'll buy what you're selling them, or B, they'll take home the information and investigate it themselves. And it's gonna take a really long time for this level of consciousness to flood the earth because it, it is, I think it is information that the establishment wants out there, but they're not going to openly admit it. You know what I mean? Hello. See, kids don't care. They want to be on camera. They want to come down and talk to me. And all of these kids would be better off if they did. I do kind of feel sorry for those oh, those those ladies particularly that uh, got rowdy about me filming. <laughs> it's just they you know, and that's like people who use you know minor things to not agree with somebody on something. You know, you're going to use me filming kids because they just so happen to be here when I'm here, right? I didn't know these. I didn't, I don't, yesterday I didn't know that the kids were going to be here. But then when I found out that they were, yeah, I'm going to come back. How you doing? Good. Oh, sure, yeah. It says satellites don't exist. That's a premise or uh, yeah, I mean, it is, in my opinion, it is a true statement. Have you ever seen a satellite with your own physical eyes? You have. Where? Smithsonian. Okay, so it wasn't in space. Oh, you saw something moving. So how do you identify, so did it look like this at all? Oh, it was a light in the sky. So it could have been like a weather balloon or a drone, right? Yeah? I wasn't sure then. Well, you should have hung on to that thought, sir, and been a black sheep because it is, in fact, flat. We do not live on a ball, and we've never been to the moon. Oh, I heard that. You heard that from a guy in open Syria. Well, that's great, sir, that you've heard about it, but you take in this truth and the information, and then you reject it. Because of why? Peer pressure? Or the media? Like Noah's Ark? Yeah. Of course it is. Okay. I'm very much a believer in Jesus Christ, and he's my savior, and he is God. And it also says that the moon and the sun are both individual lights in the sky in Genesis 1. Do you know that? He gave light to the light, the greater light during the day, and the lesser light for the night. The moon does not reflect the sun's light, sir. It's its own light source, and it cannot be landed on. So you're familiar with the Bible then, right? A little, little bit. Can I encourage We're you to... Catholic, so we okay, have, well... We the Bible <laughs> you need to read the Bible, sir, because only through Jesus Christ are you saved and will you see God. You can't see God through a Pope. The Pope cannot forgive you of your sins. No man can. Well, anyhow, well, good luck to you. I mean, you believe in something you should... Be well, can I just tell you one more thing? In the book of Isaiah... Isaiah does differentiate between a flat, immovable plane and a ball. So he says a circle, which is like a pizza or dinner plate, and then later he talks about a ball being thrown. 
So the Bible does differentiate between what is a ball and what is a flat plane. So please, I encourage you so much to investigate Flat Earth and check out some videos. Do you like being lied to, sir? Even just to spare your feelings? <laughs> okay. I don't, sir, and that's why I'm here. Okay. And, and for you to experience your knowledge and your acceptance of a flat earth, I can't tell you how you would feel and why it's important because this is where I am. And so until you investigate such claims, you're not going to understand. So, but I am telling you that my testimony of me being here, I hope would encourage you to look at such information because you're being lied to, sir, about where we live. And you always have been your whole life. How has that negatively impacted my life other than... Well, sir, you still, you, you claim to be a Catholic and that's not going to save you. No, I quit that. Okay, well, so anyhow, you, need to, you need to encourage, I, I just encourage you to check out the earth being flat and maybe that will bring you to a better relationship with God. Well, good luck to you. And, you know, you should do what you believe. That's okay, appreciate it. Have a good afternoon. Yep. Cannot be landed on. All right, so. Uh oh, more kids coming. Better hide my camera. Give me a break. I just want people to wake up. Why can't everybody just wake up right now? <laughs> so I, and then I, so I can go back to a slave job, right? So then everybody, so everybody believes the earth is flat and then what? Then we all go back to our slave job or what are we going to do? What's the next step? Right? What is the next step for us? Like I said before, we got about six months, you know, what is that? November? Five months? To try to just start waking people up? Right? We need to abolish that treaty, is what we need to do, so that we can freely go back and forth to Antarctica. Because I think everybody knows who is in this community understands that we as a group could not collectively gather resources, money, and a boat to go down to Antarctica or travel in that direction for very long. The reason why we wouldn't even be able to start is how would we communicate with each other without using electronic devices which are monitored let me check out this uh, sculpture over here. It's not a target symbol. Right? What the hell is a target symbol doing in state capital? But we would have to hand off messages through carrier pigeon, you know? This is a Lego representation of the Minnesota State Capitol. There you go. If you want to pause that, you can see this. Yeah, that's a Lego building. If I would have seen that earlier, I should have taken a picture of that. I'll take a picture of it once I end this feed, I think. Maybe I can. I don't know. Or maybe when I come back, I'll just... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of um, filler with the flat earth, there's a lot of people who 
uh, push the flat earth, but then they push other ideas that I just, I can't get on board with 100%. Um, I'm not going to hold your hand as we march towards the end game with flat earth. If you agree with certain things that I just can't compromise with, but I will support you and I hope that you support me as we continue to bring out the idea of flat earth to people. And then after that's done and over with, then we'll see where we're at. But there's a lot of uh, flat earthers out there or people who um, understand the flat earth who are in particular Google Hangouts that I can't I'll listen to what you got to say and I'll, I'll be on board with a, a lot of uh, your proofs about Flat Earth. But then when you start to steer away and you start to demonize particular groups of people, a, raise particular people above others, um, I'm not saying I don't agree with what is being said. Okay, so let's just, I, I want to clear the air about that. I'm not saying I don't disagree with what some flat earthers are saying. All right, had another connection interruption. Um, but, it, you know, a lot of the topics that are being talked about separate from flat earth, but have a foundation of flat earth, I... I don't know. It doesn't uh, particularly help, you know, the cause, but again, if people are supposed to understand Flat Earth, they will be able to look past the people who are promoting other ideas along with Flat Earth. Does that make sense? Uh, for a lot of people, they don't want to become Christian because of what is said in the Old Testament. You know, so they use a lot of what is being said in the past as a means to excuse away uh, their own personal beliefs on Christianity, for example. You know, and a lot of people will use what, you know, your Eric Dubays say and say, well, I don't agree with what he's saying. How could you be a flat earther? Well, I'm not basing my... Uh, my idea and concept of, of being a flat earther on everything one person says. I don't agree with everything that a person says. So there's nothing wrong with, there's nothing, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with uh, agreeing to disagree. There's nothing wrong with agreeing with a person who believes in flat earth but thinks that God is a female. You know, I don't, I'm not going to be able to compromise with that. That's just not something that I can compromise. <coughs> but we can meet, you know, peacefully and talk about Flat Earth and agree on a lot of things that we're being lied to about, which is great, which is the ultimate deception. But it just, that's just kind of where I got I to gotta stand, you know. I don't expect to be best friends with everybody, but I would like to, you know, talk to people that are um, the, how do I say, the bee's knees of Flat Earth, you know, that would be, uh, that would be nice, especially to talk to Eric Dubé. I don't completely know Thai, but I do know Sawarikab, that's just how you say hello in Thai. <laughs> But I, I do appreciate what everybody is doing in terms of flat earth and um, drawing particular people, particular groups of people into the flat earth community. You know, I'm sure that you have homosexual flat earthers who draw the homosexual community into flat earth. Do I agree with homosexuality? No, I don't. But I do agree with what they're doing at the time. So I can, I can set that aside. That's not... That's not what I am here to judge you on. You know, we're all going to be judged when we pass away. But I don't want to be judged by not doing anything. That's me. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to be held accountable 
for not expressing my views on flat earth because I'm afraid of what other people are going to think about me. So. Just enjoy uh, being out here and talking. If you haven't liked, shared, or subscribed this video, uh, please do so. Uh, again, whether you agree with what I'm saying or not, but if you are a flat earther, um, you know, just help promote my stuff. Help promote other flat earther stuff like ODD TV, Eric Dubay, Mark Sargent, IPS, Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes, Patricia Steer. Um, you've been exposed, Brother Sanchez. You know, there's a lot of people out there who do a lot of time and effort into the Flat Earth community that a lot of people don't know about. But I just encourage, if you're brand new to this topic, you gotta start somewhere. Pick somebody who you like to listen to, a video that explains uh, the ideas of Flat Earth, in a way that you can understand and and stick to that you know and then go to something else but you can't just don't just listen to me don't just listen to ODD don't just listen to Mark Sargent get a a, plethora, a plethora of ideas and then through your knowledge and your confidence that's gonna build uh, you're gonna be able to draw people into your your bubble if you will people are going to really feel your excitement and your energy about this topic you're going to have naysayers you're going to be called an idiot moron dumbass uneducated go back to school <laughs> i mean you know you name it whatever you know just you got to get past being called names though big rip if you're called a name they don't know you and they don't know why you're doing what you're doing. But you got to understand that when we all die, we're going to be held accountable. So they're going to know the truth. They're going to be showed the truth about everything. Even stuff that we might be wrong about. You know, we don't know a map of the flat earth. You know, it could be a circle, it could be a triangle, it could be ever expanding and those uh, those ice walls may or may not exist. I've never seen an ice wall personally. I've seen pictures of the ice wall. But I do use the pizza Antarctica is the crust analogy and I show the UN flag as a means to simplify it for people. And so if that plane, if that land and water and all of our resources are infinite, You know, then, then so is the space. So is space, right? Space is infinite. People can measure that idea in their head that space, outer space is infinite, right? So try to bring them to an idea that water, resources, and the land that we have may be infinite, and it's not a ball. And there's nothing wrong with that. They're just walking around, pacing here. And there's nobody here yet, but I've still got about 30 minutes or so before I take off to go to Lake Calhoun for a little bit. I, I, I do think that they are avoiding me. So I'm not going to, from the conversation that I had with the state trooper, I don't think it would be in my best interest to walk around the state capitol where there are kids I just I don't want to I gotta pick my battles here guys so I just gotta kinda stay in this rotunda and keep circling around this occult symbolism that we have here everybody stand around the circle you know so everybody gets to stand around the circle every time kids come here how is that how does no how does the how I mean I notice it and you're not going to notice that that may or may not be occult symbolism, standing around a circle with a star in the middle. But, you know, what do I know? What do I know? I stood in front of that star a couple of times. I've been on many field trips to come here. And I worked here in 2000, 2001. 
So I am familiar with this area. So hope the chat room's going well, everybody. How you doing? Just letting everybody know that that's not a picture of a real satellite. That is a CGI image of Viasat, which was launched today. At least they said it was. I didn't actually check up on that. So if you want to check that out, Viasat satellite. And I know that uh, IPS is going to be going live here now or in the next 30 minutes to do a satellite launch party. I think that that might be the satellite launch is for Viasat. So that's this picture right here, folks. That's the image that we get of Viasat being launched in France. And then they have the mission to the sun called Touch the Sun. That is the mission name, Touch the Sun. And that is a utter lie. I mean, I don't you're lying to me, dude. You're lying. You're lying to me about being about sending a probe to the sun. Give me a break. But all these people believe it. Why do these people believe it? Because they don't research themselves and they love the establishment. And to go against what they say will affect your relationship with your peers, your friends, and you'll be ostracized, right? That's how they, that's how they fear monger us to not research the information that we're talking about today. Is they fear monger you into the facts that, hey, you're not going to have any friends. Well, one of the things about the heliocentric model is it's sun worshiping. They're putting the sun in the center and we're, we're going around it. And we're bowing down to it. You know, and it's no coincidence that the pyramid symbol is on our dollar bill <coughs> when the sun is behind clouds and it's able to shed its light through those clouds, you can see a pyramid type light image where the sun is the capstone on the top and the rays come out at like a 45 degree angle at its widest. And then those sun rays gradually come into a point of a 90 degree angle. So that's one way to show that we have a localized sun because of the sun being 93 million miles away, all of those sun rays should all be at a 90 degree angle. So I think they are, but hey, then if they're avoiding to come down to this circle here because I'm here, that's, we're effective. That's a win. That is a win that we are affecting today's activities inside the state capitol. Just keep on walking around. Let's go this way. One of the representatives, I think a, a Senate member, a representative came up to me and earlier and said something to the effect that I should know better or something like like he knows the law so I'm not I'm not doing anything that but that's how the that's how the establishment puts fear into you you know when you get pulled over and a police officer says can I search your car and you say no, well, his initial reaction is they're saying no because they're hiding something, right? That's why, that's the fear mongering that they put into you. Well, you're, if you're not hiding anything, why don't you just let us search your car? Well, because I don't want you to touch my stuff, man. It's nothing, I mean, it's nothing against you personally, but you represent somebody. And I don't want them coming in to my car. And it's just like here. You know, those, those people, they tried to fear monger me into don't videotape minors 
here. Oh, you're right, ma'am. I should probably go home. Oh, we got some kids coming down. Oh, they're avoiding me. Look at that. I had a couple of kids earlier ask for my YouTube channel, Authentic Intent. Thank you again, everybody, for hanging out and stopping by. Hi, how you doing? Hey, right on. Oh wow, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Boom. That's how we get free coffee here, folks. We just got some free coffee. All right, we're going to put it over here for a minute. I don't want to carry it. <laughs> so we'll put it right there. How you guys doing? Good, good. Oh, it says uh, satellites don't exist. Yeah. Do you like the ones on top of the building? No, I mean like the ones that they tell us are in the outer space and they help us with our communications and telecommunications here. <laughs> I haven't been helping with any more today. Yeah. Well, it's funny that all that they give us are these CGI images of satellites in yeah, space. We haven't actually seen them. But we haven't seen them with our own physical eyes. So why? how is it that they exist when all we get are computer images? I'm sorry, we have limited time. Sure, yeah. But the Earth is flat. So have you ever experienced uh, an idea like that? The Earth being flat? I heard about it, yes. I think I'd have been very frightened in the early 13th, 14th century to take myself off the edge of the Earth. I'd have been terrified. Yeah, but it's not. There's no edge, ma'am. I know. They, they say that to scare you into they the truth. Really, yeah. They do. I'm serious. You gotta research the Earth being flat. I know you may have seen the moon landing on TV, but that was fake. Yes, it was. Oh, was there. You were on the moon? The moon is not a physical object to be landed on, ma'am. I know you don't understand right now, sir, but someday you will. Okay. Yep. How you doing? Hey, can't complain, man. Satellites don't exist. Like your telecommunication satellites? Have you ever Google image? Yeah, this is a free country, no, sir. I'm, yep. I'm not just right on. Do you believe in the moon landing? I'll talk to you over here. Oh, sure. Yeah. So, is that what this is about as a satellite? Well, I'm just, uh, have you ever seen a satellite with your own physical eyes? Uh, I've never been off the planet. <laughs> yeah, neither have I. But uh, you do believe that satellites do help us with telecommunications? And I have no idea. That's not my expertise. Okay. I have no idea. Hey, that's a good honest answer. Um, what about, like, the moon landing being real? I know that there's enough uh, evidence out there to dispute one way or the other. Yeah. There's definitely, I've heard the theories of, you know, it being recorded in a Hollywood, you know, set. So yeah. That's something that, uh, I mean... I wasn't there, so I guess I don't know. I wasn't there either, yeah. Just, uh, mm -hmm. There are enough theories either way, so. Sure. Um, what about right now, like as we live, there is evidence out there to show that the Earth is flat and not a ball. What, really? Okay. Yeah, what type of, uh, what, what do you think about that thought, like initially? Again, I only stand on the Earth. I, I've never been uh, any higher than where I'm at. So sure. I can't, uh, again, I can't, I can't comment on that one either way. Okay. What about... When we grew up in school and we were given the globe, you know, a globe and a ball and everything, is that something that you believe that we live on as a, a spinning ball flying through space? We were also given a flat piece of paper with a map on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were. But I know that, I know you're, in a way you're trying to avoid coming to a conclusion here. Well, it's but because I don't have answers. I don't have all the <laughs> and, answers either. And that's, what, that's why I wanted to engage you because I wanted to hear other thoughts. Sure. Because, I mean... With the internet, we were able to see other opinions that typically the media doesn't report one way or the other. So okay, yeah. It's, uh, 
It's very interesting. Okay. I think I think a lot of times the theories get put out there that are quickly uh, poo-pooed by media that there's a lot of validity behind. Okay. It's, it's, it's always a great idea to sit out and discuss with other people just to see where they're at. Sure. And that's why I wanted to talk to you because I wasn't sure. Um, I was... I, I heard from others what your intent was, and yeah. I didn't know. And, you know, and that's why I wanted to talk to you. Great, I appreciate so that. So I could understand where yeah. you're coming from. Sure, yeah. Because I, I, I never take a person's thing without double checking. That's you know? I can so, respect that, sir. I really like, appreciate it. I have to get going okay. with my, my group. Yeah, so hey, on YouTube. Up, uh, I enjoy your uh, First Amendment rights. I appreciate it, sir. Keep, keep that up. Okay. Hopefully we never have to use the Second Amendment. <laughs> yeah, uh, hey, I, I hear you, man. I totally agree with you. But just research Flat Earth, man. Flat Earth clues, stuff like that. Appreciate your conversation, man. Have a good one. I got to get... Uh, see, as I was leaving today, I was pretty much halfway here. Oh, we got some more kids. <laughs> and I forgot to, to print off, like, business cards. So that was my fault. I got I to gotta print off some cards, some periodicals to hand out to people that I talk to so that they can remember. That's my fault. A lot of people do remember my channel name, but I got flamed a lot yesterday. So, hey. <laughs> See, these kids want to approach me, but... They're uh, escorts, if you will, are leading them away from me. <laughs> oh snap, I gotta make sure my coffee doesn't get taken. The buggers will grab it. You're right. I wanna lose my coffee. So I'll put my coffee in my pocket, hang here with the sign, and let everybody know that space is fake, and it's not real. Space is fake. Yep. I do have, uh, I do have a channel. Authentic Intent. Check out. Yeah. There you go. I got his. I got. I told him my website. He seemed like a cool guy. I'd hang out with him and drink a beer. So they tell them that the eight-pointed star makes three M's, or four four M's. That's their explanation for the star is it just so happens to make four M's for Minnesota. That's a lie. I don't know what the truth is in that, but it just makes me feel uncomfortable when they tell kids that, because I don't... I just don't agree with it. They're saying that for a reason, and I don't agree with that. I don't agree with everything that you're saying, but I will fight to the death so that you can say what you're saying. It's funny, but it's true. Stay away from him. Do you believe that the earth is flat or a globe, ma'am? See, she walks away with her chest out like she's somebody. But she doesn't know right now. That's fine. <laughs> we can't force people to agree with everything that we say initially. It's just coming here to make sure that my presence is felt and this idea gets out there to people, particularly kids, that would never think to cross paths with flat earth. Stay away 
the movie she says. Hello, the earth is flat, okay? It is? Yep. Yes, it is. You're being lied to. The earth is flat. No, the earth is not flat. Yes, it is. Did you go to school? Yep, just like you. It's and I found out that the earth is flat. That's what they. Go to space, it's flat. Nope. I know. No, space is not real. No. Space is not real. <laughs> oh, please let my words and my thoughts permeate into their young minds and produce a beautiful flower of truth. Amens. Just getting, see, we're getting bombarded now. Like the last 30 minutes, we didn't see any kids. Now we just, <laughs> just kid. <laughs> like, <laughs> he doesn't even know what he's avoiding. Like that's the thing is, people don't know what they're avoiding. Just run, run away. Don't talk to him. Don't talk. It's, uh, it's really sad where our society is. Hey guys! It is really sad where this society has come to, where I can't openly videotape minors in public without being accused of being a sex offender. What is wrong with you? And I told that lady right to her face, what is wrong with you? That is a satanic idea and thought to assume that somebody's videotaping in public property at the state capitol and kids just so happen to walk by and I'm a sex offender apparently? Give me a break. But then these are the same people that let their kids watch Bill Nye. Episode 9, Bill Nye Saves the World. If you don't have Netflix, I would suggest just getting the free 30 days to watch that TV show. He's got 13 episodes. Hey. And the ninth episode is damaging. He's a petter ass. And the establishment are full of pedophiles. And it's okay for them to come out with TV shows and for parents to just let their kids watch that. But when I'm here talking about truth and videotaping it, videotaping reactions and conversations, I'm accused of being something that I'm not. How dare you ever accuse me of something like that? Hope everybody's enjoying the chat, keeping it moving. I'm just trying to collect my thoughts. I got <laughs> all these kids running around and I got so much information I want to share to these kids but it's just here we go the earth is flat the earth is flat outer space is not real sorry guys I, at least you know now okay just like Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny aren't real Come to my YouTube channel and I can. YouTube Flat Earth, okay? Gravity's not real, bud. Gravity's not real. Gravity's not real. There you go, that's gravity. I just dropped that on the ground, that's gravity. But it's dense. This is more dense than the air around it, so it's gonna fall to the ground. I know that you've been taught what you've been taught in school, I understand that. But, I'm just trying to tell you the truth, guys. I'm Joshua. Hi. I graduated in 1999. Because this is public property, and I can. Have a good day, guys. Research the earth is flat, okay? You don't believe me until you see it yourself. Yep. Authentic intent, guys. The earth is flat. Bye. The earth is flat, okay? Bye.
Boom. The earth is flat, okay? <laughs> uh, I keep getting Wi-Fi interruptions. Keeps disconnecting. All right, so we hit up about, what do you think that was? Two dozen kids there? How you doing? Good. Okay. We've got about 10 or 15 minutes to go here. Just want to thank everybody for coming by. Thanks for the mods for regulating chat and just keeping them entertained and entertaining yourselves. And your personal encouragement by just being here and watching what I'm doing, I really appreciate it. I really do. It, it, it helps me just understand that uh, we're all in this together. Who cares about the freaking dome? You know, like, it's just... It's like a bubble, it's like water being uh, used in a vomit comet. Like, people still think that the water... Hey guys, the earth is flat, okay? Please research the earth is flat. The earth is flat. Yep. Don't believe what they tell you in school, okay guys? The earth is flat. Yes, it is. Have a good afternoon. Thanks. Time, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, man. Had to adjust. Had to adjust my pants. This coffee's weighing me down. All right. So. Whoa. So what do we take from this? What do we take from today's experience? Well, we know that a majority of people do not agree, particularly the kids. The parents don't agree. Parents don't agree that I share flat earth and space being fake and everything. And it's not something that a lot of people are going to agree with, but it's something that everybody's going to have to come to a decision about. Yay or nay. And I think that this is helping people come to that decision uh, more of a solid foundation. All right. Um, I think Flat Earth is bringing people to a better conclusion on where they live or not. Like, you got a lot of ball heads that are going to really sport the globe, and they're going to never want to be, they're not, they're not going to want to get away from the establishment. They're going to want to believe what they hear on the news, on TV, 
Um, even little conspiracy theories like, uh, you know, I guess there aren't too many little conspiracy theories, but, you know, chemtrails, vaccines. When you, when you introduce such ideas to people, it makes them feel uncomfortable. And then the idea of a conspiracy theorist has been demonized by the establishment to fearmonger people into researching stuff on their own. And so that's the only that's the only defense that they have to keep people kind of in line. And Flat Earth has the ability to get people to decide who they believe the most, the establishment or alternative views from people that maybe aren't as credible as the quote scientists that were given, but your own personal observations and experiences can prove to you, if you allow it, that the Earth is indeed flat. That outer space is fake. And that they have regularly lied to us. I'm gonna go say, uh, say goodbye to these people. They were pretty cool, so. All right, guys, thanks a lot for uh, all your help. So. Research it. Thanks again for your help. Yeah, you have a good night too. Flat Earth, man. <laughs> so we're gonna just take off here and go to get something to eat and then go to Lake Calhoun. Hope to be there in a little bit. Probably about an hour or so. I'll. Uh... About an hour or so, I should be out there. It doesn't take too long, but there is traffic, so it's rush hour. So it's still a beautiful day. All right. I was switching from uh, Wi-Fi to m my cellular network that works on ground towers, not satellites. But all those kids, that's so awesome. All those kids are going to be curious of to why I was doing what I was doing. I just blatantly told them that the earth is flat. Okay, so that was at least a hundred people today through the grapevine that are going to hear that the earth is flat and then they're going to have to make a decision. Sooner or later you guys are going to have to wake up or continue to suppress the information that's being presented to you. You don't want to be the last person to believe the Earth is a uh, globe. It's detrimental to your health. And who knows what's going to happen. How are they going to... How are they going to draw a line in the sand, the establishment? I guess we'll find out. <coughs> but I'm going to sign off here, guys. I really appreciate everybody stopping by, all the mods, uh, all the people that helped me with the information that I have and the ability to listen to your Google Hangouts and your thoughts and everything. Um, all the websites that you guys created, all the experiments, all the experiments that I've done uh, to just help. Calm down. All the experiments that have helped uh, Flat Earthers come to this conclusion. So, ODD, Mark Sargent, you know, really appreciate all the time and the effort that people go through. Richie from Boston, um, I don't agree with everything that he says, but um, he's he seems like a good guy, and I do. Over a period of time, I have been grown to respect people that put themselves on camera, whether you want to call them a name that starts with an S or not, that's up to you, but... Let a person's work define who they are, okay? And if you have discernment, and you have the ability to critically think for yourself, and stop letting the establishment think for you, then you're on a good, you're on a good path to be woke. So, 
So thanks again for everybody stopping by. I hope the connection for you was better than yesterday's because I was connected to the Wi-Fi inside. So I think it worked out really well today.